this tapas dish is often served in Andalusia, which is a region of Spain, and is equally popular made with lamb or calf livers. To make the chicken liver with a sherry glaze, you will need olive oil, chopped shallots, sherry vinegar, fresh thyme, sherry wine, honey, chopped garlic, chopped parsley, fresh chicken livers, cayenne pepper, regular pepper, and salt. Clean the chicken livers. So I'm using a deboning knife, which is flexible, but you could also use uh, a chef knife. But the right knife to use will be a deboning knife. So remove everything. All those nails and cut the pieces of levers evenly. Your chicken liver shouldn't smell anything, they shouldn't free up any odor, and they should be very shiny. This is a sure sign of freshness. Sometimes some livers are more pale than others. The reason is because they lose their blood, so as long as they're shiny and fresh, it's fine. When you buy your chicken livers, if you buy them in North America, they will be pre-cleaned for you which means you won't have much to remove. If you buy fresh chicken liver from a farm, for instance, maybe uh, the chicken liver won't be clean, which means you may have a little bit more pipes and, cart and things to remove, like a little piece of cartilage or uh, nerves, mostly. If you buy your fresh chicken liver in a farm or you just kill one of your chicken, the liver will come with a green pocket attached to the liver. Remove it and remove any traces or evidence of green spot on the liver because that will result into strong flavor, very unpleasant, and it should be removed. You cannot eat it. So be careful. If there is something green on your fresh liver, take it off. Keep your chicken livers in the fridge until you need it again. So the recipe calls for two stems of thyme and when I picked them up earlier, they were pretty small. So I had a little bit more, I have a four or five, but they're pretty small, okay? So separate the leaves from the stems and chop them up. The bottom line is at the end, when my thyme will be finely chopped, I should have about half teaspoon of freshly chopped thyme. All my chicken liver mise en place is done. It's time to cook. Heat a large skillet on medium high heat, then add the olive oil. Add the shallots. Add the garlic. Cook the ingredients for about another minute. Then add the chicken livers. Spread the chicken livers evenly and allow to cook for about an extra minute. Season with salt. freshly ground peppercorn, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Allow the liver to cook on one side, and they will whiten a little bit, then brown. And we are going to keep the chicken liver on the rare side. In Spain, they will serve the chicken liver medium well or well done, but sometimes they will ask you how you like your chicken livers. So you will be able to say medium rare or rare. But I would suggest to have them pink. So usually we serve chicken liver medium rare or medium. 
if you cook them medium well or well done, they will be a little more dry and um, they're not as pleasant as medium or medium rare. So saute your liver. There we go. And roll them to cook. So I'm going to increase the heat now to medium high. Add the fresh thyme. When your livers are, uh, have changed color, but you know that inside they're still rare, take them out of the pan. Deglaze with the sherry wine, the vinegar, the honey, and bring the liquid to a boil. Reduce the liquid until it coats the back of a spoon and then put back the chicken levels. And mix to toss them in the glaze. Add the chopped parsley. Check the seasoning. Just a little bit of pepper. And serve immediately. Clean the dish or the platter. Serve immediately with your favorite drink sherry, wine, or fino. Bon appétit. Mm. Wonderful.